Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. The global supply chain is perhaps the most complicated and crucial man-made system in history. From massive worldwide shipping and air freight companies, to single truckers and small business owners, every cog in the supply chain wheel is designed to support millions of others. Much of the global supply chain involves cataloging, sorting, and tracking cargo at massive warehouses. However, this only serves to facilitate the primary goal, moving that cargo down the chain from producer to end user. Over the years, this process has utilized trucks, trains, and boats. But aircraft are by far the fastest and most reliable method yet. One of the newest and most prominent of these full-sized cargo aircraft is the Boeing 747-8F. The F indicates this is the freighter version of the Boeing 747-8, another recent addition to the iconic 747 series. At 250 feet long and boasting a wingspan of 224 feet, the 8F is also considered one of the most giant cargo planes in the world. Thanks to its 975,000 pound maximum takeoff weight, the plane can carry payloads of up to 154 tons over distances of more than 4,000 nautical miles. As impressive as these statistics are, the 8F's efficiency is equally important to the plane's operators. Indeed, the plane incorporates advanced technologies to enhance its fuel efficiency and overall performance, including a new type of engine and aerodynamic design changes. Among the many innovations that the designers of the 747-8F embraced is a forward-facing cargo door. This means that the nose of the aircraft actually lifts up, providing easy and instant access to the cargo hold. This particular design feature has been used on board military aircraft, namely the C-5, for years, as it allows for the easy loading and unloading of large vehicles. And because the 8F has multiple cargo doors in the fuselage as well, its different storage areas can be loaded simultaneously without interfering with one another. The first Boeing 747-8F was delivered in October 2011. Since then, the aircraft has racked up a number of high-profile operators. In operation since 1970, 
The company has offices in more than 50 countries and a growing fleet of 30 aircraft, most of which are Boeing 8F models. Since the plane's introduction, the 747-8F has gained a reputation among cargo companies that appreciate its efficient configuration, multiple decks, and exemplary performance. Despite its extremely high maximum takeoff weight, the 8F can operate from a wide range of airports, including those with shorter runways. This versatility means a lot to logistics companies that must do whatever they can to keep the supply chain moving. As one of the world's largest commercial and military aircraft manufacturers, Boeing has essentially perfected the assembly process. After the design phase is complete, the company will begin ordering or crafting the necessary parts for the design. Separate components of the aircraft, such as wings, fuselage sections, tail assembly, landing gear, and engines are sourced or manufactured from facilities spread out worldwide. For this reason, Boeing typically starts the assembly process with the fuselage. The new 747-8F's fuselage is comprised of advanced composite materials, aluminum alloys, and titanium. These sections are produced at various Boeing facilities and then transported to the final assembly site. Each wing comprises numerous subcomponents, including spars, ribs, and skins, which are fabricated and assembled to form the complete wing structure. The final process involves integrating the various major components, wings, fuselage sections, tail assembly, engines, landing gear, and avionic systems. The assembly process is highly choreographed and requires precision engineering to ensure proper fit and alignment of all parts. Another way that Boeing is helping to keep the global supply chain moving is through its freighter conversion process. This involves taking old passenger planes and heavily modifying them so that they can be used for moving cargo. Though it involves a lot of unscientific processes, Boeing's freighter conversion is closely monitored by company engineers who must complete completely original design solutions for each aircraft. First, all of the passenger elements are removed, including seats, stow bins, and lavatories. Engineers then cut a hole in the side of the fuselage so that they can create a functional cargo door. Next, they replace the original floor structure with one that is much sturdier and, in many cases, features tie points and rollers for easy moving and securing cargo. 
In many cases, freighter conversion allows the company to get another 20 years of use from each plane. NASA has a long history of using large planes to move rocket parts and other oversized cargo. During the heyday of the space program in the 1960s, the agency requested a specially designed cargo aircraft to allow for better loading and unloading of these heavy, bulky components. This 143-foot-long aircraft had a massive 111-foot cargo bay inside its oversized, bulbous fuselage. It was used extensively during the Apollo, Skylab, and early space shuttle programs. Still, it was eventually replaced by an upgraded version called the Super Guppy Turbine. In 2018, NASA teamed up with Northrop Grumman to transport the new James Webb Space Telescope from NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas to Northrop Grumman's clean room in Redondo Beach, California. The telescope is not only oddly shaped, but it also weighs around 14,000 pounds. Also complicating the move is the extreme sensitivity of many of James Webb's components. This is certainly not the first time military aircraft have been used to transport space equipment. For instance, C-17s are often employed by NASA to help move satellites, rovers, and other equipment. One particular example began in 2018. This mission included moving satellites belonging to the GPS Block 3 program which is the heart of the latest global positioning system. Each satellite weighs around 8,000 pounds and boasts some of the same sensitive components seen in the James Webb. Of course, GPS-3 will also be available to more than 4 billion citizens, providing much more accurate info for drivers, travelers, and most importantly, logistics companies. These satellites have an average altitude of about 11,000 nautical miles and will circle the Earth at around 8,700 miles per hour. Due to their weight, they must be launched into orbit by powerful rockets. Once the fleet is completed, they will be able to pinpoint a person's location within just a few meters. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.